Quick look today at the premium earphones from Zipblaze. These have been sent in via the company, just like the wireless ones, and I'm just gonna show you the case that they come in. Obviously, we can see that these do look very similar to the earpods, and we'll come on to that a bit later on. The design is basically the same. You have a side port and a front port on each earpiece. Now with the case, I suspect most people will probably end up throwing this away, but you could put them back into there for storage if you wanted to. We also have the inline remote, plus and minus for the volume control, and the center button is a microphone as well as play and pause. So you can use that for answering calls and pausing the music. Looking at the earphone design, as I said, basically the same as the earpods, and that brings some advantages and disadvantages with them. Now I've tried budget ones off eBay that sounded awful. These ones sound good. They're not far off the originals in terms of the bass is decent on these. Just like the earpods, you also have slightly understated midtones, but quite decent treble on them, but it's not too harsh, quite lively. So they're not high end earphones and they never really were designed as that. They're selling for around about $15, but they certainly sound a lot better than some of the super cheap ones that you can get online or in some of the discount shops, which sound basically pretty awful. All these sound good. I'd be quite happy to use these and I've been using them for about a week solid. The plug, straight plug, some people might prefer an L-shaped one. That's really down to personal taste on that. The inline remote is quite close to the right earpiece, so it's always at hand. You don't have to fumble around looking for it. So if you need to take a call or adjust the volume or even pause a track, then you can do that quite easily. So the design is fairly good in most respects. There's just a slight disadvantage with that smooth plastic. If you knock them slightly out of place, you start losing the depth of sound, particularly in the lower end frequencies. And that's something which is common to this sort of design of earphones. So really the best ones that I've used are the silicone tip ones. If you do a lot of sports, that's what I'd go for. If you look at the overall package for around about $15, I think most people would probably be pretty happy with these.